mentioned that you became very close to Patri ji. I would like to you to share the experience when he, uh, you know, just uh, asked you to come with him and uh, you went to numerous places. How was that experience for you? And because you two were just married, I guess. Uh, and how was that? Because usually in marriages we see we when uh, two people try to live together more, but. How was that? That you just decided on like, go for a month or go for two months? I I don't care. So the, how was that for you? And how was that like decision making? Yeah. And how was that experience and altogether? No, so so basically, I was there in Pyramid Valley uh, for some time. I went there for a week uh, just to you know meet her and be there in the around Pyramid, energize myself and this thing. So Patricia, basically, when I was going back, he said. Why didn't you come with me, right? And uh, I, I have like a balance between spontaneity and uh, structure, right? So I got like, you know, I just went back into my head and I said, like, what is the probability of Patrisha asking me to join him <laughs> again in this lifetime, <laughs> right? In my head, I'm doing probability, and I think it's a very less probability that he will ever ask me, right? So I should grab onto the opportunity. And then I told Arekya that you know Patricia is asking me to join him on a road trip from uh, Bangalore to Hyderabad, and I will take my flight from Hyderabad to Delhi. So she's like, yeah, whatever you're feeling, you know, the same with what she said about uh, freedom of you know there is no interference and there is freedom and trust. So she said, yeah, whatever you feel like you do. And uh, Patricia asked me to join him. So we went on to we went actually pyramid hopping. We did from one place to another and along the way, right? Because every three hours, four hours, we were resting for some time and then going ahead. So there, uh, the funny thing happened. The reason I realized that I'm very close to him is when started joking Patricia and I with each other. Where uh, so we were in Kotala. Kotala is 1.5 hours from Bangalore. Uh, and uh, when Patricia came, obviously there was a crowd who greeted him, and you know there was a place where he was sitting and eating. And uh, this was the first time for me, right, traveling just me and him on a road trip. So before that, there was only one place in like Lucknow where I went with him, but that was a totally different experience. So in uh, South India, when we met for the first time, and we like there was a dedicated place for him to eat, and you know there were people with ready with idli vada, you know, <laughs> ten types of chutneys, yes. a glass of water, and everything. And he sat and started eating. Then he saw me and he called me, you know, sit next to me and eat. And so I said, okay, you know, Patricia is my friend. He's asking me to go. Well, I went. I sat, started eating. And then you know people keep feeding you because you know the sir is there and it's hot and you know so soft and nice, and I'm a foodie and I'm saying, you know, kya hi farak padega ta? You know, what will matter? Like, how does it matter what I eat? Right? Started eating, ate like four or five idlis, two three vatas. It is so soft and nice. <laughs> and Patri sir is very quietly you know observing what I'm doing. The uh, lady who was serving us, she came and she started putting also. And out of this thing, I said, "Okay, no, ma'am, I'm free, I'm full, right?" But in Indian culture, what happens? You know, thoda or le lo, you know, have some more. Yeah, and she put like one vada and one idli, and I was like, "It's so soft, you know." No, <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Let me just go ahead. It's already on my plate. They started eating, and then Patri sir got so angry. He and he didn't put his anger on me. He called that lady from the kitchen, and she's coming. Yes, sir. What do you want? दिखता नहीं कितना मोटा हो गया? Don't you see how fat he has become? And this lady is like she's confused because you know now he's yelling and uh, Patricia is uh, yelling on her like don't you see like he's saying no and you kept this widely then don't you see how fat and he's punching me also and and then people started taking out the cameras and I was like dude don't re- yeah don't record it man. And then I had to like you know in the situation I became I started fake laughing sweating and all again, again yelling <laughs> already I had that phobia and then he started laughing I said you should not feed him when he's saying no yeah. then he, then the lady also get diffused she also started laughing and then and then I went to his ear and like why do you do this to me every time <laughs> around people like <laughs> and he started laughing and from there actually the bond uh, started where patricia was not a guru figure for me but he was more of a friend and a mentor where uh, you know everyday life he is teaching with everyday things because that's what i like that's how i learn better 
So, yeah, so from there we went to another pyramid, another pyramid, and then he said, you know, this is how we built it, the, the stories behind those pyramids. And uh, yeah, that is a, yeah, I would say it's a one remarkable memory. In, uh, Sometimes I'm jealous of him because he's been to those pyramids that even I have not been to in PSSM. Been so in so many years. So yeah, he's been to so many pyramids. With Patri sir. <laughs> yeah, well, happy for you. <laughs> but anyway, you you do not are separate. So whatever <laughs> you see, you seem to. Yeah. I want to witness the uh, the experience Definitely. of seeing in sitting in those pyramids. Yeah. Uh, but With yes. Patri, sir. <laughs> yes, I, I understand <laughs> what that means. I mean, my journey with Patri sir, like I said, transitioned several times. So before marriage also, I used to travel a lot. And I like traveling. I'm very passionate about traveling. Um, yes, few times with sir, not so many times. Um, because I was also working then, so I didn't have the luxury of traveling. But then lockdown happened and then work from home happens, which was very helpful. And um, and of course, I did travel with him before. But post marriage, actually, um, I'm so grateful to him because he never says uh, you, you're traveling all the time. Because if sir will say sir is going to a certain place and things need to be arranged and stuff needs to be taken care of. I just have to say, I don't tell him, I don't ask, hey, Naman, can I go? It's more like, hey, I'm planning to do this. Uh, what do you think about it? So I think that really matters because I'm not asking for permission, but I'm planning with him to see how it can match his schedule and my schedule because he's got a lot of responsibilities and commitments as well. And even though I'm not able to pick up a lot of them, he's always supportive. And of course, once I'm traveling with Sir, it's, it's another world altogether. The minute to minute things that you learn, um, to be able to spend time with him, to be of some use, to the people around, to see so many new meditators in new places. That itself is a completely different experience altogether. But the aspect of traveling, which involves me to be away from home for so long. Yeah, Naman is so self-sufficient mm -hmm. with everything. And not in a complaining sort of way, but being accepting the fact that this is because... Again, like he was already trained by Sir directly to say, you know what, see the expanse of PSSM. Uh, and he knows what it means to travel with Sir. So there's never like, why are you not talking to me? Or where are you? Who are you with? But it's more like, hey, how was your day? Share your experiences, you know, did you learn something new? What, what, you know, what are your insights? So our conversations are more about, okay, what did we learn from this situation? So even my travels with Sir, it's when we all sit together, it's all what did we observe, what did we learn, what can we improve and things like that. So I think uh, traveling with Patri Sir is definitely um, is a gift. Now that you just mentioned about how busy he is and how so many responsibilities still, you know, how you uh, cater to your relationship and, you know, enjoy life, our audience know that we, these two dynamic people who are sitting in front of us right now is uh, so Alekhya is a uh, managing director of PMC Hindi and uh, Naman here is uh, president of uh, Paima International so they both have a lot of um, you know on their plate and so now uh, how do you both individually take care of your uh, roles uh, because it's all uh, it's all part of a same uh, company. Let's say it's a, it's all part of a same same company, same family. So uh, how is the equation there? How do you manage uh, two separate entities being in a same uh, plate? It's all the same. We want to teach meditation to everyone. But still, you both have different roles to play, different decisions to take. How you you know, taking care of your uh, equation there. Naman adds value because he has a lot of business sense um, in in terms of how you can bring structure um, into PMC Hindi, which is now growing into a corporate, which will become this big conglomerate, which will support so many people and uh, fulfill the purpose of really bringing meditation to the Hindi speaking people and eventually English and Tamil and Spanish and Deutsch and all of the languages. So we kind of just, you know, we're, we're learning on the go. So Naman adds value by bringing in his business expertise, which from time to time I, I discuss with him and we share. Um, 
what can be done better, um, policies that which can be implemented, things that we can improve. Because, uh, you know, he's he, he has a knack for uh, talking about common sense. So even though I may be really busy and most of the time there are days where we're back to back, early mornings, late nights, um, and there's no complaint from his side. He's always supportive. Our morning coffee, uh, our day starts with the morning coffee that he serves to us. So we have, you know, just that little bit of a space that we get where we all reflect. So we read a book together. We meditate together in the morning as much as possible, of course, not making tall claims. Um, and we have coffee together and we have those moments and where we share what we're doing in our life or what, you know, what's happening in our everyday. And of course, there's always that comfort of when I need his support, um, it's always there. And um, he is given so much freedom to me to really fulfill my purpose which was what I really wanted because that freedom is needed to completely because his mom was uh, going through a tough time because she was going through a physical ailment and she needed to come to AIMS regularly for her chemotherapy and there were times of course there were most of the times that I was not there but he managed everything by himself uh, without ever saying you know why aren't you there and giving me that space. Uh, because at the same time, while this was happening in uh, even PMC Hindi and all of the events that were hap that are happening in North India were required close attention because it's needed at this point in time to take care of. And uh, he did it silently and I'm so grateful to him for that. And uh, I guess uh, uh, even being part of PAIMA, the thought process that, I mean, within India, all the learnings that we've had, um, I always feel that it, it, thanks to the experience that we've had, we can now evolve into creating something which really can le reach a larger audience. So in whichever way that uh, kind of like balance each other and support each other where it's needed. So for me, I'm very grateful that, uh, I mean, so lucky that I, I guess maybe not luck is the right word, but sometimes you do because everything kind of falls into place. Um, that you have someone who supports you that much. Look at the way she's looking at you. <laughs> that's that's really beautiful way how uh, you know how we balance each other in such a no matter how what role we play in uh, in the world of outside. How do you cater to each other? Emo like how do you take care of emotional wellness and you know just everything together so it's, it's very beautiful and so, because when patrisar came to delhi and i think we all are there and he said i want pmc hindi to be a thousand crore company right and that particular this thing hit very closely to me and shastri right where i was able to relate to what he was saying in terms of prapanch right because BBC, then he compared us to BBC and I said PMC Hindi has to be the BBC for uh, uh, spirituality. And uh, there uh, Shastri looked at me and I looked at him and I was like, bro, this is our project, you know. <laughs> <laughs> although, although Alekhya, he, uh, Patish sir requested Alekhya to, you know, uh, come forward and take it this thing. Because I knew how to, like, what it takes to build a company, right? Because unless you have that free free space in your head right you have to be able to think through all the complexities that a new company brings with all the stakeholders who are coming in and now none of them is expecting any returns right no one is saying that hey nandini uh, you know, nandini is coming forward and saying i want to invest i want to give two lakh two lakhs for you know x x shares and uh, I don't care what happens to the money, just use this money to, you know, grow and it's reach out to the purpose, than, purpose driven rather than the returns. And when you go there, you, you understand how big a responsibility it is. When, because when you have returns tied up, you know, you know, if Nandani is putting one rupee, this is what Nandani is getting. There's the, there's a fixed set of this thing that you go by such and such rules, you'll achieve that goal. But once the returns are not tied up, Right, it becomes your moral responsibility of how well you are going to drive the initiative. So for that, you need time, time, you need space in your head, you need to think through a lot of things because you can't go wrong there. So that's what I realized and we thought that, okay, my role here is to support her in the best way possible where she's able to make those decisions because the stakeholders are at this thing, right? 
then that's how i started thinking around how what all i can pick that can help her you know help us in achieving this goal Correct. of going forward and making sure that you know uh, pmc hindi is becoming the platform hence extending it to other languages and all the learnings and so forth and so forth there i realized that my role here is for a supporter who comes in and make sure that things are running smoothly and she is not distracted with some certain things that i can take care and that gave me the understanding because by when patri sir because patri sir also shared this uh, once where patri ma'am was cooking for you know ex people and you know patri sir used to bring people to home and no complaint was there you know she just cooks and serves and you know eventually patri sir was able to do what he was but he is done obviously and there i realized that somewhere the journey is similar mm-hmm. where you know today you are catering to let's say 5000 people today pmc hindi has 100000 followers so today so earlier it was 5000 followers today it's 100000 and it will only grow right same with pmc english 15000 followers and counting so as i realized this then my job became that you know i have to be a support system where we'll make sure that you know we are able to achieve the goal that we are achieving achieving together and that gave me the more like actually patri ma'am gave me the inspiration to you know and go ahead and be that figure to enable me and alekha both to achieving what we are achieving and uh, i think that became the foundation for uh, paima international and uh, pmc hindi inspired from the living example so that's that's amazing and we realized that the platforms that we now have the responsibilities we now have are uh, adding on to something much bigger um north india delhi being the capital as being born here as setting up a base here really means that we have to send a strong message of a uh, a pyramid valley in delhi itself and that's something that his is his is his passion and uh, and he knows he's very patient he knows slowly and steadily with each step um that goal is getting achieved and that's why per- sir has been saying pmc hindi for north india that's all the biggest project is pmc hindi because through that um dhyan bharat will happen and through dhyan through dhyan bharat dhyan jagat will happen and that happens right from delhi itself mm-hmm. so yeah we are fulfilling our uh, destinies that's uh, amazing and uh, also we get to know from both of you how you know may be not for any other uh, you know audience out there who's watching who both are working and how how dynamically you know how how to cater to uh, their relationship and uh, let the person be individually like uh, many people are uh, now it's a very uh, fast forward world where both are working sometimes sometimes there is only one person working so uh, you, you you guys are uh, you just set a very great example of how to balance each other out so thank you for giving such a value you know valued uh, examples thank know. you to patri ma'am and patri sir for setting the example <laughs> absolutely salute to them <laughs> now a lot of great under you know messages and life stories uh, we have heard about both of you now i would like to move to our next segment which is uh, who knows who better and i'll ask uh, one one word and both have to answer like for example i'll ask a favorite book of alekha from naman and same goes to alekha about naman let's begin all right Let's begin with uh, Naman because he seems very prepared. Like I'm gonna win this. <laughs> so uh, my first question to Naman is that we I know for sure that Alekh is very uh, avid reader. So picking one book, one favorite book of hers won't be that tough, would it be? <laughs> I would say <laughs> Atma Yogi Bhava. <laughs> <laughs> okay so, yeah. moving on to uh, alikha which is your favorite book first you can answer that and you can tell my book i think uh, a book that i always go back to and i have told you this several times bringers of the dawn by barbara mercenia oh yeah i think naman's favorite book there are there's 
I think the Warren Buffett documentary, but that's not his book. <laughs> But the, his favorite book, the one that he has two copies of now in the house, is Meditation by Marcus Aurelius. Yeah, those physical copies, so it's a lucky guess. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> uh, so it's on Stoicism. It's on. It's it was written by Marcus Aurelius. It's called Meditations. Uh, thin book, but very effective. Wow. Okay. Now I'll start with you, Alekha. So, so Alekha one number zero. Yes. Keep the count. <laughs> <laughs> like we know. that uh, naman is uh, quite lover of food so <laughs> which is his um, you know very uh, fond cuisine there's no single cuisine that he likes but um, aloo ka paratha that he really likes and bhatue ki sabji it's a very traditional pahadi dish it's called bhatua ka sabji bhatue ki sabji which he really likes So it's uh, bhat ki dal. Bhat ki dal. Yes, that's what I meant. That's what I the meant. The point is not good. No, no, no. Bhat ki dal. Bhat ki it's... dal. <laughs> okay, and uh, which one is? Italian, <laughs> with a lot of tomatoes. So it's tied now, one one. Yes. <laughs> I don't even need uh, this thing. I know. <laughs> so simple. Now I would like to ask, which one is uh, Naman's favorite coat that he generally uses a lot of times? I don't remember the exact quote, but it's from that movie, and I should get point for this. Last Samurai is the movie, uh, and where he says, um, where I, I think, and then Tom Cruise is in the movie, and there's this scene where he, he's like, you know, warriors are made, warriors are born, they're not made, and something to that effect. In your relationship, she has quoted that very often. Oh. Um, I would be a good husband, and I'll let my wife <laughs> share the quote. <laughs> What? <laughs> well, then you're foregoing the point, and I get the point. I have yeah. to forego because I, yeah. The only obligation that you, you have, have in, in any given lifetime, lifetime is, is to, to be true, true to, to yourself. yourself. And yeah. I was being true to myself. I get the point. So yes, you you get the point. The last two questions left, so pump up your <laughs> memory. <laughs> Okay, knowing Alekha, I know she loves traveling. So one destination that she feels like, uh, you know, if she's given that time, uh, you know, given that opportunity, that one Alekha is there taking care of all the work, and you go and yeah. just stress free and just live there. So where where will she go? Ah, uh, Andaman and Nikoba, she'll go for deep sea diving. Oh, you have been, you have, you had that <laughs> talk <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you're ready. That's great. And uh, Manchester United. He wants to watch <laughs> the match. Stratford Stadium. <laughs> you guys it's had that. Old Trafford. Wrong. It's Old, Old Trafford. So I get the point. It's not Stratford. All right. I guess you both got it. The last question to you guys is that uh, let me make it more interesting. <laughs> N- not asking you the question. I'm giving you a situation. Okay. So. Um, A given situation is that if, for example, sir calls uh, one of you and says only one ticket is available, and uh, but you get the chance to live with me for let's say, and uh, you know remotely you will work. Don't worry about the work. But you will chill with me. <laughs> but you will chill. You have the opportunity to just live with me. Yeah. So for you, whom are you gonna I give that ticket to? I will go. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even tell her. I'll just go, and I'll tell her when I'm reaching. Oh, you know what, sir? Called. It was very important. C- couldn't do anything. <laughs> so, what would I do in this situation? Um, I would probably want that he goes. It's perfect fit to the puzzle. <laughs> Amazing, guys! It was such a. delight to have this conversation with you and i'm really more than grateful for this moment to be manifested today and <laughs> and uh, really really uh, thankful for your messages and your experiences that you have shared today for all the audience out there and thank you thank you so much thank, thank you for having us thank you so much for having us thank you so much for watching our episode all the way from new delhi If you have not subscribed to PMC English yet, I would request you to go right now and subscribe to it, so that you do not miss on any such great stories, experiences, and life-changing stories. Stay tuned with us; such more interesting stories.